Bonjour. Hello, everyone. Um, welcome. My name is Tammy Williams, and it is my pleasure as president of Domator to welcome you to the 16th International Conference. For those of you who don't know, Domator is the International Society for the Study of Early Cinema. On this 125th anniversary of the Lumiere's first public and ticketed screening in December 1895, we would have loved to have met in Paris, but alas, we are absolutely thrilled to hold our first ever truly or literally international virtual conference. This week, we are bringing together 52 participants from more than 13 countries and dozens of cities from Buenos Aires and Sao Paulo to St. Petersburg and Istanbul. And we are proud to host close to 200 registered guests for four days of live discussions wow. across more than six time zones and all without jet lag. <laughs> we are truly excited about this year's theme crafts, trades, and techniques of early cinema, which brings attention to many understudied sites and practices of early film production. It expands our view geographically from Latin America to the Middle East, and it adds complexity looking behind the factory doors to hidden contexts in which the lab film labor takes place. This year's presenters explore the gestures not only of actors, comics, and illusionists, but also of lanternists, geographers, animators, and engineers. They examine the techniques of camera operators, compositors, colorists, and censorship editors, and in Brazil and Argentina, of women orchestra conductors and one-man cinematographistas. Yes. So, knit from the professions of yesteryear, the 2020 conference theme links the gestures of little known professions of sales agents, bookkeepers, production managers, non theatrical exhibitors to those of early archivists, allowing us to weave a rich history of early techniques with the gestures required for the preservation of these objects today. This year's focus on crafts, trades, and techniques has allowed us to further Domator's long-standing links with the archives. In this spirit, I want to express my deep gratitude to our fabulous archival partners for standing by us in this most challenging of years. Most affectionately, I would like to thank both Stephanie Salmon and Anne Godet Marès at Fondation Jérôme Sidou Pathé for their hard work throughout the planning process and for their flexibility in providing rare documents, including film stills and photos for you to identify online. I also want to give my warm thanks to the marvelous Emilie Coqui, Wafa Germani, and Laurent Manoni at Cinémathèque Française, who, with Elif Ronjen Kenak, at I brought us three stunning films, including the breathtaking, brilliant biograph shot on 68 millimeter to our home screens. If you haven't yet, please check out the Domator program on the, and on the Henri or Henry platform, as some screenings will end on Wednesday. Of course, none of this week's events would be possible without, without the remarkable Joel Lehman and his fantastic tech team at the Université de Montréal, who gave us a welcoming virtual home in this year like no other. Um, special thanks are owed to our co coordinator, uh, Hugo Lungbeck, who has been an instrumental uh, force in bringing this project to fruition from the gathering of the proposals and communicating with members to the assembly of these remarkable panels. I also want to express my deep gratitude to the Domator Executive Committee for their enduring support, and particularly to Clara Eau Claire for her unwavering assistance with translation and communications. Thanks also to our moderators, and to our participants, uh, to our assistant moderators who will assist with translation. 
Most warmly, I want to thank my fellow members of the programming committee for their phenomenal work. Um, first, um, my co-conspirator, uh, Valentin Robert, who helped get this project going from the beginning. Uh, Ian Christie for his attention to the graduate workshop, which we hope to hold online this spring. Um, Jean-Pierre Sirois-Trahan for his knockout fundraising efforts. And Prisca Morrissey, who was the driving force behind the conceptualization of this year's theme. Last but not least, I want to express my deepest gratitude to Louis Pelletier, who has gone above and beyond, playing a crucial role in coordinating all aspects of Domator's first virtual event on our fabulous conference website. So bravo, Louis. Uh, before I turn things over, I want to invite you all to attend our General Assembly and our Provenance book launch and our first virtual cocktail on Thursday. And now a few words from Jean-Pierre and Prisca, who will launch our first panel. Thank you. Donc, bonjour à toutes et à tous. Euh, un colloque comme celui-ci ne pourrait avoir lieu sans l'aide de nombreuses personnes et organismes. Nous aimerions remercier le Conseil de recherche en sciences humaines du Canada qui nous a fourni le financement nécessaire à sa tenue. Je souligne que leur ouverture et leur compréhension furent totales, qu'on a dû changer la date et mettre le colloque en ligne pour des raisons que l'on sait. À titre personnel, je voudrais remercier la Faculté des lettres et des sciences humaines de l'Université Laval, son doyen Guillaume Pinson et sa conseillère en développement de la recherche, Annie Quentin. Leur aide fut précieuse pour la soumission de la demande de subvention. L'Université Laval a eu comme partenaire institutionnel l'Université de Montréal, l'Université de Rennes II Haute-Bretagne et son unité de recherche art pratique et poétique, ainsi que l'University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee, euh, qu'ils en soient ici euh, remerciés. Ce colloque en ligne n'aurait pas pu se monter sans l'aide de Technaise et de son équipe de choc dirigée par Louis Pelletier, qui a conçu le site du colloque en quatrième vitesse. Je vais les, les nommer Joël Lehmann, Lucas Hornung et Anne Lévesque, aidés par Nadir Djebar et Guillaume Lavoie de l'Université Laval. Nous aurons l'occasion de les remercier à nouveau pour le travail qu'ils vont continuer d'abattre cette semaine. Euh, ils le méritent. Un merci spécial à André Gaudreau, directeur de Technaise, et à Santiago Hidalgo, le directeur du Lab Cinémédia de l'Université de Montréal, pour leur appui indéfectible dans cette aventure. Ce colloque prolonge l'ambitieuse histoire des techniques cinématographiques amorcées par Technaise, comme de l'ensemble des recherches le sujet à travers le monde, en témoignent les activités de recherche menées par nos deux institutions partenaires, et on est très, très fiers de les avoir dans le colloque, la Cinémathèque française et la, la Fondation Pathé. Les différentes interventions ici démontrent à quel point métier, savoir-faire et technique doivent être pensés ensemble. Enfin, Demitard 2020 témoigne du fait que des partenaires internationaux dans plusieurs langues peuvent coopérer et créer un colloque, un colloque qui, nous l'espérons, sera un grand succès. Et donc, bon colloque à toutes et à tous. Je cède la parole à Prisca. Merci. Hello everyone, I hope that you are doing well in this difficult time. Thank you for being here. I will make short in French and in English. Donc, bonjour à tous et à toutes. Euh, J'espère que vous allez tous bien en cette période difficile. Merci d'être là. Je ferai court et dans les deux langues domitoriennes. Je me joins évidemment aux remerciements de Tammy et de Jean-Pierre. Merci aussi aux participants qui ont accepté de faire leurs interventions en dépit du contexte. Merci au public qui participera aux sessions en direct. Et enfin, merci à tout le comité de direction du colloque, à Tami, euh, Jean-Pierre, Louis, Valentine, Yann, euh, Dimitrios, et bien sûr, merci à l'équipe technique de Montréal. I join in all the thanks of Tami and Jean-Pierre. I would like to thank the participants who accepted to make their communication in spite of the context. Thanks to the public who will take part in the live sessions, and thanks again to the committee, the direction, the Committee of Direction of the, of the Congress and uh, everyone and the Montreal team. In the various and all exciting communications, I was struck by several things that I will just sketch as an introduction. Dans les différentes et toutes passionnantes, bien sûr, communications, j'ai été frappé par plusieurs choses que je me contenterai d'esquisser en guise d'introduction. L'importance des modèles préexistants, art de la scène, photographie fixe, art graphique, etc. 
pour penser l'histoire des techniques et des métiers en cette période si cruciale d'invention, d'expérimentation et d'institutionnalisation. Ces modèles ont pu être abordés sous l'angle de la continuité, de l'adaptation, des écarts ou des ruptures, mais chaque fois incarnent des matrices ou des points de repère indispensables. One, the importance of pre-existing models, performing arts, still photography, graphic arts, etc., in thinking about the history of techniques and trades during that crucial period of invention, experimentation, and institutionalization. These models could be approached from the point of view of continuity, adaptation, deviation, or breaks, but embody essential reference points. Deux, l'importance de faire dialoguer dans ces histoires le singulier et le collectif. Ça permet d'interroger la notion de représentativité, de mettre au jour des réalités plurielles et complexes derrière un métier. Les communications démontrent la variété des trajectoires professionnelles, les possibilités offertes en matière de mobilité professionnelle, l'importance qu'il y a à interroger finement à travers les documents, les tâches concrètes et la division du travail dans chaque contexte particulier. Two, The importance of having a dialogue between the most singular and the collective. It allows the question to question the notion of representativeness. It highlights a complex and plural reality behind one trade or profession. The communications demonstrate the variety of uh, the professional trajectories, the possibilities offered in terms of professional mobility. It also shows the importance of questioning through documents the concrete concrete tasks uh, and the, divisions of, the division of labor in each particular context. Trois, l'importance de la circulation. Comment circulent les savoirs, les discours, les termes, les personnes, et ainsi mieux comprendre comment se construisent des métiers et des savoir-faire propres au cinématographe. The importance uh, of circulation, how knowledge, discourse, terms, people, circulate and thus better understand how professions and know-how specific to the cinematograph are invented and built. Enfin, comme le montre le premier panel que je vais maintenant introduire, comment s'articulent métiers et techniques Qu'est-ce qui détermine quoi Comment se joue articulation entre division des tâches, invention d'un métier et procédés ou objets techniques qui peuvent autant servir à une seule personne qu'à, par exemple, communiquer entre divers services Finally, finally, as the first panel that I will now introduce now shows, pardon, sorry, how are professions and techniques uh, articulated? What determines what? How is the articulation between the divisions of tasks, the invention of a profession and process and technical objects that can be used for one person or, for example, to communicate between various departments? 